Hello, this video is about how to use Windows 7's system protection system to uh, recover accidentally deleted ver files or previous versions of files. Um, it's part of their system restore uh, functionality which I've spoken about in a separate video. Uh, that is for restoring all of your system settings. This is if you've lost a file or a folder somewhere. Usually the reason for a file being lost is, is you've accidentally dragged it and dropped it somewhere else or you've accidentally deleted it while talking on the phone to your friends or something, just not paying attention, but it can happen anyway for good reasons and bad. The idea is you go to a folder, I'm going to choose this one, and you say restore previous versions if you've got it in your menu. It's only available on Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise and Ultimate. It's the previous versions in the properties and you'll see there are a few. They don't go back very far and this is the problem with previous versions or system protection. If there's been no changes for a couple of days they'll all go away and be deleted because it only stores a certain amount and after that it doesn't. If, if the folder hasn't been changed for a long time the odds are you won't find any copies. Um, I can go in there and nothing. You see no previous versions even though the whole folder is protected. Now that's it's peculiar, you know. Sometimes if the file has been updated recently it will be there as a previous version. But you can still restore it just by you can go restore previous versions or you can go to properties and previous versions. It's precisely the same. You have some some options of different dates and times whenever it happens to make a what's known as a shadow copy. And you can simply look in the previous version. If I just pull that up, there's the folder. And you can even copy that and paste it somewhere else. Okay, it's it's fine. And you can do that with the entire folder as well. Come to that. Um, you can explicitly make a copy and save it for the whole folder in this case. Or if you choose Restore, what it does is replace the current one with that one. It's usually safer to maybe replace a particular file if you've lost it or copy the whole folder to your desktop and work out what you need to change and keep from there and move it back manually. Now if you've got Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise or Ultimate and this option is not there, that's probably because it isn't activated. You have to go to Control Panel, um, System, System Protection pull this down. For whichever drives you wish to protect, uh, normally that will be your system drive and maybe a data drive, not external backup drives and things like that really. Um, make sure it's on. You do that by selecting each drive in turn and choosing configure and you set aside a certain amount of space on the drive for the shadow copies and you choose what it's going to protect. Normally you choose Restore System Settings and Previous Versions and this space will be used. I have enough for a couple of days worth on mine. Um, and you do that for each drive. Configure some space on the drive to be set aside for the backups or the temporary backups. It's important to realise this is not a backup solution, it's a temporary short-term emergency get out. That's all. Um, it's on the same tab as System Restore, but it's a slightly different thing. If you find you are not able to do that, okay, what you have to do is check that certain services are running. Now, um, you might choose Run here and uh, services.msc. If you haven't got run in your start menu, you can just type this in the search box. It'll still it'll find it. So let me do that. I think you can't see it on, on your screen, but you'll see the results. 
there it is you see I've typed in services in the search box on the start menu and I choose preferably run as administrator and it'll pop up the services now this service this system protection service requires another a service to be running which is the volume shadow copy service somewhere in here there it is that has to be started and either manual or automatic so if, if it's shown as not running you can start there'll be a link to start it there or you can right click on it and start it from this menu or from that menu or from the properties make sure it's either manual or automatic manual is usually fine what manual means is if a service needs it it'll start it automatic means it'll start when Windows boots up it's probably not necessary for that it only runs every couple of hours or when a file has changed so make sure that's running um, there is another one somewhere um, Microsoft Shadow Software Shadow Copy Provider this service needs to be running as well same thing make sure it's automatic or manual and is actually started and then give it a couple of hours to make its backups of your files and stuff and you'll find maybe there will be previous versions if not of the files themselves then of the entire folder and you can restore the entire folder what what the heck okay uh, why Microsoft doesn't uh, has done this I don't know but uh, they're just peculiar aren't they um, there's the files I can just open it and I can restore that particular one copy paste it somewhere it's no problem okay I hope you found that helpful and goodbye for now